Welcome back to another part of Wild Hearts. Anyway, let's play. Okay. Bear Stalker is right in front of us. We are going for the wolf. Um, we need to kill the wolf one more time and we're going to upgrade our weapon. So, really looking forward to get our upgraded weapon. It's going to be fantastic. One more kill and we do have it, so... Looking forward to that. Then our weapon gets about 50 damage increase. I don't even know how the damage numbers work in this game, to be honest, because, like, it, it just doesn't work, right? That's just my opinion. Nice, we jumped in time. Oh, I'm pressing L1 instead of R1. Steal twice. There we go. Easy dodgy. Beat my umbrella. We need stamina, dude. He's gonna run most probably now. Yep. Take a little bit of a shortcut, I guess. Oh, he's coming here. Nice. Oh no. Next to us. Not a perfect shortcut, actually. Uh, check if we, yeah, we can actually eat something. Not the greatest food, I guess, but at least we ate food. <laughs> Whoa, I thought he was gonna stay here. Why did he go even further away? Okay, we should then get full HP. I heard you. Bro, where the heck is he? Like water. I'm looking forward to this fight. His foot's on the trap, but it never went off.
separate lock. Oh my goodness, bro. Oh my goodness, bro. I don't know how you're supposed to survive it. Every single time that ability happens, I'm just dead. It's every time. Every time that ability happens. Every time. And it's not like, oh, like I almost survived. No. If I'm targeted and that ability is on me, I'm dead. It's it's that simple. It literally is that simple. What is the ability? Uh, he does four charges. The wolf does four charges in a row. Back to back. So you can perfect block the first two. And then you have no stamina. And you don't have time to build a wall. I, I literally just try to build a wall there. Uh, and if there's a trap, you just burst through the trap like there's no trap, so... So if the charge happens and you're targeted, it, it's like... You, you're, you're, it's a guaranteed death. need to hit him. Game over, man. <laughs> right until here. 
He must be very, very close to dead, by the way. We actually destroyed him there at the end. <laughs> that box, dude. <laughs> it was like a Kobe. That is very fair, dude. Got him, GG. Under my umbrella. Oh, man. So we just need one, uh, one icicle. One icicle, please. Did we get it? I don't think we got it. Why didn't we get it? My goodness, bro, please. Is it because I didn't use it as a hunt? Are you actually fucking kidding me, dude? I didn't get it. What the heck, bro? I'm telling you, man, it's, it's, it, stuff like this is only, it feels like it only happens to me for some reason. I was like, okay, let me just, uh, you know, kill him once more. No, dude. No, 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 no. No. You have to make it a hunt. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Right? Is that what I'm... Like, I, I don't even know how that's possible. We were attacking the, the, the torso part the whole time. Like, how the fuck did we not get it? ChatGPT <laughs> said that it's the icicle is the, the, the torso part. You can do that, okay. Whoa, 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 no. There was one up there. I heard him. Maybe it would have been mine. Jump in time. <laughs> hey, Torso. Hey, 
have an attack? To see. Can you like fall over? No? Where's his mist? Can he heal? Watch out where you throw that. Okay, he's gonna run now. Come on. How do I get to his mouth, dude? Just think about it. So dumb. Okay. Attack him. Nice. Okay. Don't attack him. Nice. Okay. Ow. Don't attack him? Okay, it's still happened, okay? No, 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 please. It might be the triple charge. Stop going. Where are you going? No, no, no. Oh, I was hoping to grab him. Holy shit, he jumps far. Absolutely insane, dude. I better get the icicle this time. Seriously. This will be our sixth time killing him or something. Back to back. <laughs> and did he go to the roof? He went to the roof, man. Why did I see him? To the map. 
He's not being scanned up here, I guess. This really sucks because we almost had the damage up. Our bar was almost through the third phase. there. Better get the icicle, man. Yes, one icicle. I'm a rich bitch. A rich bitch. <laughs> okay, let's uh, get to camp and uh, yeah, get our weapon. I'm so excited. It is time. Finally. That is a big upgrade, dude. Almost 50, da 50 damage increase. We have 5% crit. And we're getting something called Sublime Dance. Lengthens the amount of time before the Spin Dance gauge begins to fall. Oh, dude, that's so nice. Okay, um... What, what is this one? Increase the amount of Karakuri uh, thread obtained while the Hunter's Arm is active. Ah, okay. We don't use Hunter's Arm anyway, so... Uh, we want the Dodge Master. Dude, we can just take everything. What the heck? That's what I'm talking about, dude. That is a huge upgrade. Okay, so finally we can actually start doing the main quest line again. Look how it looks, dude. Oof, that looks nice. Uh, let's see if we can forge any gear also. Armor. Uh, we can forge feet. Pants. Mm. The feet is a way bigger upgrade, man. Like, there's no comparison. You can still get the pants. 
Is the pants an upgrade though? Dude, it's not really an upgrade. It gives one more earth resist, but that's it. Nothing else. So. Okay, we'll take this one, yeah? Your human thingy. Okay. So, let's see what is the main quest line over here. We need to be on chapter 3. Uh, in this same location. So let's do that. Hopefully it's not going to be too difficult. Dude, we ha yeah, we have so much money. My goodness, we farmed so much. Um, we want everything that looks like a birthday cake. And everything that increase like this one right here. Uh, where's it? like, do we have another birthday cake any like anywhere else close by? This could also be perfect. The harpoon would also be great, though. This harpoon. Then it's the amount of... Uh... Okay. Anywhere else? Anywhere else? Do we have, like, a birthday cake or anything? Not that I could see. Uh, definitely this one. Maybe the birthday cake is higher up. Can we take this? No. Nope, no birthday cakes anywhere that I could see. Dude, this thing is absolutely huge, man. What the heck? So do we have all the birthday cakes? Is that it? It can't be it, man. Birthday cake, I'm talking about this, by the way. It's healing mist. My, my pet seal. We made it larger, made it longer also. I don't know if it heals more if it's larger and, lo and longer. Explosive attacks hit wider area of effect. So then we'll take that. Okay. So we have a quest all the way here now. Uh, let's just go back and search whatever we have to fight. <laughs> It looks like the Tusk guy was, I think, is the easiest one out of all that's here. I just go pee quick. Alrighty then, let's uh, head over there. I think it's the, yeah, I think the monkey is a little bit harder. It looks like there's two of them, and they're both, like, really close to one another. But I don't know what that's about. They're, like, looking at each other. And then... Are you correct? No. But there is one here. That looks off bounds, right? Yeah. That looks like they're about to start fighting each other. Not in a place like this. Chief, 
I think the sales were worth examining. Can you take it down? Took it down already. A few times. No, only once. Oh no, two times. Yeah, it was our previous upgrade on our weapon, so I took it down like two times, three times already. Wait, what? Maybe this is a new one. Maybe this is the third task. Dude. Okay. No, it's not. This is, the, this is the first task I get. Fucking heal. this boss because like um, oh my god are you kidding me am I dead now because of it no okay just run through the wall The reason why I hate this boss is because, like, you don't know when to parry. You don't know what to parry. I don't think we have a food buff, by the way. Lol, dude. Come, 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 come. We just ate like a whole meal. You can like pretty much see the whole fight from from up here.
What the? What the heck, bro? I couldn't build there. Nope, we're dead. Are you alright? Answer! Oi! I don't know how he did it. I've never seen that combo before. He has the green stuff coming out now also while he's on his back two feet already. So like you can't wait to parry that because you're gonna take damage from both. You literally have to go under his feet. You can't parry that. bird to get me damage. I don't know, dude, he feels a lot stronger than the one from the first one. Or he's like very strong versus my weapon, a water weapon. He's not even in rage mode yet, by the way, with the red tusks. So I don't know what the fuck. I really don't. Where are you going, dude? Come back here.
Dude, he's still running, by the way. He's still running, dude. You know, if he runs forever, then we can never kill him. So, <laughs> that makes sense. Make, make. If you want to make a game that you can't finish ever, just, you know, follow that. We got one shot at there, by the way. If you guys wonder what I mean by one shot, it is one ability killed me. Yeah, there was two sides to the ability, but it doesn't matter. It's a single ability that killed me from pretty much 90% HP to zero. And that's why this game will remain... The underdog, not the underdog, no. It will remain the lesser played game. Oh man, if it's up there, I'm not gonna go for it. Monster Hunter will still be way better, way bigger than this. It's just how it is. I mean, it's, it's not rocket science to make a game fair enough but hard enough. If you take damage once, you should be immune for like... I don't even know. It could, it could literally be... Get away. It could literally be... Half a second. Really? Again? I, I can't fight him.
can stop attacking. I can't believe I can't attack him. I can't fight him, dude. It's so weird. out of that. Oh my goodness. saying King Tusk. This is not King Tusk, dude. King Tusk is the... You wouldn't take much longer dispatching that thing. Excellent work. But look at this place. Clouds of spring blossoms here in the snowy peaks. <laughs> Definitely unforgiven, dude. This was a pretty hard boss, especially in rage form. Hmm. That was an unusually powerful boar. Must have left the old blossom trail and crossed the snowy mountains to get here. And it would have to be tough to make that journey. But how could one King Tusk be so different from another? And why is it so hot here? There shouldn't be flowers blooming in the snow like this. We should get back and report to the Sensei. Can you hear me? Either of you. If you can hear, then answer. Natsui? Dosa? Are you in trouble? A huge kimono. <laughs> Oi! Natsui! What's going on? What huge kimono? We need to get back to town fast. I've got a very bad feeling about this. What? Just because there's no signal? Oh my goodness. This whole place is on fire. Why can't I look down? Just another kimono in the end. Not to be trusted. First things first, let's make sure everyone's safe. <sighs> what a damned mess! So, we struggled so much to kill the wolf. Now we need to fight the bird that could have taken on two wolves. Is 
And this is what happens if we're not on the main city, I guess. Disaster struck. Let's see what happened. Thank the spirits, you're back safe. The town is... It's too awful. But we have to tend to the wounded. Can you see what you can do? We need help. All the help we can get. What the frick happened here, man? That bird that helped us was not even a fire bird, if I'm not mistaken. The last of the fires have finally been put out. What happened here? It was the bird of auspice. Really? Amaterasu attacked us. She destroyed people's homes. It tried to kill people, even. We did our best to defend ourselves, but it was so sudden. The hunters had their hands full just trying to get people to refuge. Karakuri all over Minato are in ruins. Even the spirit wheel. The situation is dire on the seaward side of town. Every residence lies in ruin. We were powerless to do anything. All we could do was run for cover. It was pitiful. The bird of... Well, Amateras has flown over the town in the past. But she's never shown any sign of attacking before. We never felt that we were in any danger from her. I suppose we were reassured by that. We felt secure. But we'd been lulled into a full sense of security. Kimono are oblivious to the feelings of humans. Large kemono, the great bear and Amaterasu, for example, see humans like ants. A nuisance easily brushed aside. But we treat kemono as they treat us. If they are a nuisance, we too strive to eliminate them. What in times of peace you call the bird of auspice? In times of war, you will simply call the enemy. You're so right. What is lost is lost. We must turn our faces from the past and gaze into the future. But... What can we... Actually, yes, you're right again. There is something I can do. Perhaps a perusal of my wares would be as good a place to start as any. And what of you, Hunter? Uh, I'll hunt the bird, I guess. An essential task, I have little doubt. But perhaps not one to prioritize over an assessment of the town? Haste hurts progress, as they say. I believe your place should be here in Minato's greatest hour of need. That is true. <laughs> there is so little I can do to help. How fortune smiled upon us when she led you our way. There is... Really, you're not a vendor at the moment? We were naive. Oops. We should never have assumed he wouldn't attack us. Why is he just standing outside in? Ah, there you are. Seen the town? It's a wreck. Homes in tatters. People wounded everywhere. Some worse than that. Damn that kimono! This is Otsuki Castle all over again. Ripped apart. Not a soul left. Cold. Dead. I was powerless even then. All I got was an eye. One measly eye of one measly wolf. <sighs> I won't let history repeat itself. Do 
Do you want me to just like build this? Say Amateros comes back. Would Minato get wiped out? I'll protect you. Don't bother trying to be a hero. My father said the same thing to me once, only to have a samurai cut him down without a second thought. If Minato is flattened, I don't have anywhere else to go. No home, no family. No point thinking about the future. We don't even know if we have one. Everything we see and touch turns to dust eventually. Objects, people, places. Minato is no different. He must have an end. Like everyone else, I've seen my fair share of ends. More than my fair share, perhaps. The village I grew up in burned to the ground overnight. The thieves who torched it. A pile of rotting corpses. Daimyo Ishido. Destroyed by war. Then finished by Kemono. Everyone fights it. But when the time for your end comes, nothing can save you. I learned that a long, long time ago. But even after this horrible attack, I see a flicker of hope in your eyes. I see defiance. I know someone else with eyes like yours. But I don't understand where your strength comes from. What the heck was that lag, dude? Goodness. My father always used to say, people are scary creatures, but Kemono are even worse. Humans attack out of hatred or greed. They destroy property because it's in the way. Kemono don't think like that. That bird was just acting on instinct, flying around, beating its wings, snapping its jaws and not even needing a reason to do it. But when nature bears its fangs at us, sometimes we have to stand up to it for our families and for our friends. We now have a larger fruit pouch. You can't rest. Look around and assess the damage. This to me is like pretty, a uh, pretty funny quest actually. Why is it my job to assess the damage that is here? I am not blind, I can see the place is completely fucked up. <laughs> Doesn't take a rocket science to, to know this place is fucked up. But I'm not the carpenter here, right? I, I don't know why it's my job to assess this place. It'd be cool to actually have like a, a sense of direction where they want us to assess, right? 
Like, have it at least show on the map or something. Like, have something somewhere. This feels like the right way, at least. In the middle of nowhere. This is how you get up. Without the left. Fuck me, bro. There is. What am I not seeing? Who am I not seeing? Oh, Who or what, why or where? How? You? Get the fuck up. And then... Tell me, little girl, what am I supposed to do? Oh! What is he doing here? Look at the face now, also. What a miserable sight! The hunter's town, in such disarray! Why are there more like you among your ranks? Perhaps this tragedy could have been prevented! But for mere mortals, the aggressor was too strong. The kimono grow ever more desperate. They tussle for territory. They clash for prey. Hunger now drives them to kill one another. And Minato is not the only casualty. Soon across all of Asma, nature will be destroyed. Plants will wither. Lizards will howl. Mountains will crumble. Until finally rising waters will cover it all. But in you, in you is the power to stop this. In you, there is the seed. For some, it is a duty. For others, destiny. And for you, you have the strength to hunt these gargantuan kimono. But do you have the will? What compels you to hunt now? There's money in where? <laughs> there we go. Ah. <laughs> so your answer has changed. Well, whatever your compass should be, now is the time to hold your course. There is resolve in your words, unfaltering and true, which leaves but one thing to say. You must value life, or all that awaits is death. Above all, survive. What I'm trying to do, actually. Like, I would like to end the episode here, but I don't want to start the next episode on 10 FPS. So we'll just go whatever. 
and, and do whatever we need to. That giant bird did this, surely. Hmm. We know Amaterasu was attempting to establish territory around the old castle. That resulted in the ousted Rasetsu's failed attempt at taking the spirit isle. Yes, we're seeing more and more kimono leaving their usual stopping grounds. And there can only be one logical cause, of course! Of course? Maybe this is one time we should just jump to the conclusion, Sensei? All across Azuma, and perhaps beyond, the celestial thread that sustains kimono is drying up. That explains why Amaterasu targeted the town. Celestial Thread is now in abundant supply here. Are you trying to say? Exactly. It's trying to absorb Minato into its territory. Reviving the Karakuri on the Spirit Isle was... <sighs> cavalier. But that was done for Minato's survival. The Hime-sama, the elders, everyone agreed it was the right thing to do. Anyway, what's done is done. Now we have to eliminate this bird before it gets too damn comfortable in our town. We need your skills here. Find out where Amaterasu is now. No. The burden's too great for a lone hunter. And besides, rather than blindly searching, waiting here would be far more practical. We can be sure it will return. It will be eager to conclude its territorial claim. Then we have to bolster our defenses. And fast. Can we ready the Karakuri we used against the Earthbreaker? This is akin to siege warfare, though the investment is a single foe. We need to prepare and deploy carefully. I'll take command. Goodness, Ujishige! Such motivation and not a sake cup in sight! <laughs> Who do you think I am? I was a samurai general once. Now, I've got a hundred things to do. I'll leave the Karakuri with you. Well, his military expertise will certainly be useful. But, we can't ignore the overwhelming strength of our enemy. We need a secret weapon. In fact, I was just talking to Natsume about that. It's probably better if she explains herself. You should find her assessing the damage to the spirit wheel. Spirit wheel. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Talk to me, girl. Show me them nips. We'd managed to get the wheel working again. Now it's completely mangled. What we did on the spirit I was. No. It's alright. I can fix this. Oh, I've just been talking to Suzura Sensei. Have I told you before about the other tower that once stood next to the spirit wheel? It was shown on the stone tablet I found on the spirit isle. A huge karakuri surrounded by the corpses of kemono I'm assuming it had brought down. If we can work out the details of how it was made, we'll have an amazing weapon at our disposal. I'm making it sound easy. Obviously, we couldn't possibly build it from scratch at this stage. But if we fix the wheel and hook another old karakuri into its mechanism, we should be able to make it work like the other tower did. Or at least, that's the theory. The first stage is to have Rensang and her crew repair the main structure. We could really do with your help too. Would you be able to gather the materials we need for the karakuri part? It's a very old device that I can't put together with things I have lying around. It's going to take some rare materials with unusual properties. As it happens with the kemono fighting each other for territory at the moment, their bodies seem to be undergoing changes. We might be able to get the sort of materials we need from these clashing kemono. 
but they're fiercer than ever. So please be extra careful. I don't want you to get hurt. Understood. Arigato. Then let's not waste any time. The Komodo air surrounding wilderness have evolved into mighty Komodo. Through the changes of the territory, Komodo in the surrounding wilderness can become stronger than usual. These mighty Komodo are a source of new materials which can be used to further enhance your equipment. Uh, take on foes uh, you've hunted before. And you will bolt up arsenal you'll need to defeat uh, Amer Amerita Am Amertaso. Looks like we're just back to normal. Yeah, the place is a bit broken now, but... Justin. Ooh. Look at this. Look at this. Crazy, dude. <sighs> so we're gonna move all the way to the right, by the way. According to my knowledge. Uh, like, somewhere here-ish. Um, not too sure why, to be honest, but like, we're gonna go down here somewhere. And then like stop here or some, something like this is how we're gonna upgrade our weapon. Uh, so for now we just have to... I don't know if we need to farm this to be honest. Like they are stronger but I don't think it's like absolutely necessary. No skill. Pretty nice, but yeah, we're gonna move all the way to the right now, uh, while keeping the master, do uh, the dodge master at twenty percent. Have a look at the gear. Whatever I can to help. Dude. Oh my goodness. Rapid rescue. Shortens the time needed to save allies who are close to death. We don't use that ever. Not even like much stronger, to be honest, dude. Like. The armor is almost the same. So we pretty much, like, well, I wouldn't say yet, but we're very close to have the best gear in the game. Like, very, very close. The weapon, on the other hand, you can see... You can see also the weapon, on the other hand. We go to 207, but, like, this one is at 246. Right? Oh, okay, it's still a big upgrade. I still, dude, I still don't know... The weapon says they're at 300, like 200. Do you feel the 200 difference? I, I for sure do not. I do not feel the difference, dude. But yeah, I'll check where we're gonna turn. Holy crap, 400 damage. Like, I remember going to the left. I think it's over here. We'll go down here. Like those, I think. Yeah, we need to find a large scale now, and a small Komodo shell skin. But yeah, we'll do that research at a later stage. I can to help. If we can just get that kind of good work in time. Let's see, where is the main quest now? Chapter 3. Wait, we don't see main quest. What the heck? Yeah, now they're red three stars.
Okay. <laughs> Didn't know. Anyway, guys, we're gonna end the episode over here. Thank you guys so much for taking time out of day supporting the channel. If you want to support a little bit more, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. I'm looking forward to see you beautiful people in the very next video. Love you guys. Take care. And as always, remember to twist some nibs. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, have a great time. <laughs>